Okay, in this construction project, we're going to draw or construct a geometric mean. And uh, basically, I've drawn two line segments, and our challenge is to try to draw a line segment that is a geometric mean between these two. So what is the geometric mean anyway? Uh, before we get started, it's probably, uh, for some of you, might need to, a quick review. Um, most people already know what the mean is of two numbers. It's the arithmetic mean, and it's simply the average, what's in between. For example, if you have 10 and you have 16, the arithmetic mean between those two numbers is 13 because going from 10 to 13 is 3, and then from 13 to 16 is 3, and it's the middle. That's the arithmetic mean. The geometric mean is basically the point in between two numbers where to go from one to the middle and then from the middle to that other number is a common ratio. For example, let's take 2 and 8. The geometric mean would be 4 because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, therefore 4 is the geometric mean between 2 and 8. And simply put, you take the two numbers, the square root of them, and then you come up with the geometric mean. In this case, 2 and 8 is 16 and the square root is 4. And this has a lot of useful properties for similarity ratios and means and extremes and other topics you may have covered already in geometry. So back to our project, here's two line segments. I filled in random numbers, here's 4 and 12. We want to find a line segment that is the geometric mean of these two line segments. Now in this example I use 4 and 12. Square root of 48 is 4 rad 3. Okay, but let's go to our example and get started. Okay. We have two line segments. Okay, and of course we could just take our ruler and measure them and then take the square root of their product and then we draw another line segment. But in, in construction, we can't do that. We have to basically figure out a way to do it with a straight edge and a compass. And these are going to be two helpful geometry theorems that we're going to need to do this project. Okay, the first one is simply 90 degree angle. Here we have a 90 degree angle. And if you remember, if you drop an altitude from the vertex of the 90 degree angle to the hypotenuse, you will form three similar right triangles. The small one, this medium one, and of course the original big one. And what that leads to these three similar triangles is the fact that this altitude is related to these two segments that are formed by splitting the hypotenuse. And that's basically where you get the similarity ratio. So, knowing that, which we'll revisit later on in this video, the other thing you'll need to know is inscribing a right triangle into a circle. If you remember, when you inscribe a, an angle into a circle, the angle is half the measurement of the arc. Okay, And of course, in the case of a semicircle, it's a 180 degree arc and you inscribe an angle, therefore half of 180 is 90 degrees. Okay, let's get started. Let's take, uh, here are two line segments, and we want to find the geometric mean in between them. So what we'll do is we'll start with a long line segment in the middle, a long one. Okay, I'll make sure like that. Okay, and this line segment exceeds the lengths, the combined lengths of these two. In fact, we'll make sure it's long enough. Okay. okay. Now, what we're going to first do is your compass. Again, it always helps us determine measure, a length measurement. Okay, so we take that. And this is the length of the long arc. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a point. Let's call it, let's, actually, we're going to do this in red pen to help follow. Here's the end point. Okay. And this is the first length. And this will be a middle point. We'll establish that. And then we'll find the length of the small point, small segment, sorry. Okay, with an arc. Okay. And attach that to our long segment. Okay. And again, I'm going to fill it in with red ink because it'll help follow later on when this sketch gets a construction gets a little more complex. I'm gonna even draw this is the long segment in red black. Okay, so we've got our two line segments and again going back to our drawings 
In fact, you can take a look at it. We want to draw an altitude that cuts right into the middle of these two segments. So all we need to do is draw a perpendicular line. So in order to do that, we have to first draw to establish two endpoints okay, from our center. So there's one endpoint, another endpoint. Okay. Then from each of those endpoints, we draw an arc above and an arc below. And then from the other endpoint, we draw an arc above and an arc below. Okay. Then we draw a line segment through both of the intersecting arcs and through our midpoint. Okay. And of course, it doesn't matter, but uh, if you know, this is congruent to this. Um, but that's, that's really irrelevant because um, we just wanted the right angle. And this is going to be our altitude, and part of this is going to be our geometric mean. Okay? So what we're going to have to do now is we need to somehow draw the circle that will include these two endpoints so we have our geometric mean. So again, since this is going to be the diameter, and again, we go back to our drawing, our second drawing, Here's the long length, the diameter, and here's the circle, and this will be the inscribed right triangle. Okay, so we're going to take our two endpoints, and we're going to find out and draw a perpendicular bisector. And to do that, we draw an arc above and an arc below. From the other endpoint, we draw an arc above and an arc below. Okay. And then we will draw a line through these. Okay. okay. Now we didn't have to draw the whole thing, but basically what we've done is we found the center, which is the midpoint of these two endpoints. This is the center. And now the last part is simply from the center into these endpoints is the radius of our circle. So we're going to draw that circle all the way around. Okay. Okay. And so we have our circle, and if we take the endpoint to where the altitude intersects, from a few moments ago. Draw one segment like that. And then we draw one segment there. The other end point. Okay. And this is a right angle because this is an inscribed angle into a semicircle. And so the last part is simply, again, going back to our original drawing. Okay. Here are our two line segments, and here's the geometric mean. Of course, I've flipped it. Here are our two line segments, the red points, and here's our geometric mean. Okay, so now the last part is we just simply draw a point right here, then determine the length of this altitude, and then draw an arc from our point. Okay, and then any line segment from this point to this arc. And this is our geometric mean.